it's nice in math or for that matter in life when there's a shortcut that works all the time that's easy to remember easy to apply uh, it really can make life a lot easier so that happens in math when we're looking at the multiplication of a decimal by a power of 10. Uh, there's a shortcut that will make this really really smooth uh, so first of all what do we mean by a power of 10 so powers of 10 that's what we get when we raise 10 to a whole number of power like 10 to the first power which is 10 10 to the second power 10 times 10 that's 100 10 to the third power which is 10 times 10 times 10 or a thousand and you're probably starting to see the pattern here that we end up with 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, all ones with zeros behind it. And as we raise the power, we get more zeros. And the power and the number of zeros are the same. So the shortcut is that if I have a decimal, let's say 17.46, and I multiply that by a power of 10, such as 10, I can look at the number of zeros in my power of 10, which in this case there's only one, and I can move the decimal that number of places. Now later on we're going to look at division and I want to make sure that we're clear on which direction to move the decimal. So if I'm multiplying by 10 I am making that number bigger. And the way to move the decimal to make that number bigger is to move it to the right. So when I multiply by 10, I move the decimal one place to the right, and I have 174, and then the decimal 6. Okay, so let's try a couple more. Let's take that same fraction, 17.46, and let's multiply by another power of 10, but this time let's do a thousand. A thousand has one, two, three zeros. So again, it tells me how many places I need to move the decimal. And since I'm multiplying by a thousand, I'm making it bigger. I want to move it to the right. But when I try to move this decimal one, two, three decimal places to the right, there's nothing out there for that third movement. So in a lot of cases in math, when we need a placeholder there, we can just stick that zero in, and so our decimal goes to the back of it. So my new number, now that I've moved the decimal to the rear, is 17460, or 17,460. All right, so let's look at our example problem. We're multiplying a thousand by 8.862. So the thousand has three decimal places. I want to move the decimal three places in my decimal. And multiplying by a thousand makes it bigger. So I'm moving it to the right and I'm moving it three times. Two, three. So the decimal is now again at the back of our number. Eight, eight, six, two. The decimal is at the rear, so 8,862. Uh, whenever this rule comes up where you're multiplying by 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000 uh, by a power of 10, and remember this goes on and on, when this comes up, hopefully this shortcut will make life a little nicer for you.